Good morning and welcome. Today we celebrate the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The seating on the far left side of the church retains COVID safety protocols, while the center and right side of the church has returned to normal practices. Please take home a bulletin or visit the parish website and Facebook page for information on upcoming programs and events. All women of the parish are invited to a walk at Heritage Park on Saturday, September 18th at 9.30 a.m. Enjoy the changing colors of fall, walking the one and a half mile path around Heritage Park Lake while meeting other women of the parish. Sign-ups for the Ladies of Peace Rosary Making class are open. The class will be held on Thursday, October 7th at 7 p.m. And the cost is $20. Registration is limited, so reserve your spot before the September 23rd deadline. Donuts and fellowship begin next Sunday in the parish hall after the 7.30 and 9 a.m. masses. Our intention for this mass is Kathleen Green. Our presider is Father Greg Thomas. Our entrance song is number 537, O oh God Beyond All Praising, number 537. Please stand. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome as we celebrate the 23rd uh, Sunday. Jesus uh, heals uh, a deaf and mute person. Um, he can heal our sins as well. We come to him. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father. 
God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He, will comes, he comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eye of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow of the Lord sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. 
your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs listen my beloved brothers and sisters did not god choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him the word of the Lord. be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark again Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis and people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him he took him off by himself away from the crowd he put his finger into the man's ears, and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven, and groaned, and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. To which category in your relationship with God, your faith life, do you most fit into? A slave, a mercenary, or a child? A slave, one who follows God's commandments simply because of fear of punishment, because of fear of hell. Or a mercenary, one who does the will of God, who follows the commandments but internally expects that there must be some kind of reward for this faithfulness and fidelity. Or a child, one who loves God because he knows that God is Father. And simply because of who God is, 
we choose to love him. In today's gospel, Jesus returns to the district of the Decapolis. Now last time he was there, he was met with a demoniac who was possessed by a legion of demons. And Jesus drove these demons out. They entered into the swine. The swine crashed into the sea and died. The people of this district saw this. They came to Jesus and they begged him to leave. To leave them because they had now just faced enough financial ruin. And upon leaving, Jesus turns to the healed demoniac and commands him to stay and tells him to tell everyone what the Lord has done and how he has shown mercy. Jesus' encounter today is quite different on many different levels. And his message, his commandment at the end, is completely the opposite. Today, Jesus arrives and success. The healed demoniac must have had great success because those same people that were begging him to leave, now they come to him and they bring a deaf man. Before, perhaps they had no interest in Jesus. They had no interest in this prophet because they looked across the shore and they saw the way that the Pharisees were living and they had no interest in being slaves. They saw how the Pharisees lived. They saw the yoke the Pharisees placed on their people and it was unattractive. We too see how unattractive that type of life would be. But yet many of us choose this type of relationship with God. How often do we begrudgingly either do or not do something simply because we fear divine punishment? We push the line of how much sin is considered acceptable? How far do I have to go in this particular sin before it's considered a mortal sin? It's any time that we choose not to sin for no other reason than we just don't want to be punished. Now this might be effective in avoiding eternal damnation, but it is not an attractive way to live and certainly is not a way to live a happy life. But now back to the people in the gospel. They've heard and seen this healed demoniac. And so they come now with a deaf man. They come perhaps seeking out a miracle to see if Jesus can work this for them. They now become like us when we obey God's commandments, but in the depths of our heart, we also expect something in return, some type of reward for our faithfulness. Our, in these times, we become as mercenaries. We expect him to answer our prayers, and he does, but we expect him to answer to our liking. We make deals in prayer. We might lift up good intentions, but pray, Lord, heal me or my family from this illness, and in turn, I will fill in the blank. Or Lord, if the chiefs pull this one out, I promise you, I'll <laughs> fill in the blank. We make deals in prayer, but we forget in the very manner of which we always pray that line in our Lord's prayer, it's thy will be done. A miracle, God's intervention is always ordered towards his purpose. Just like we see in today's gospel, the miracle is ordered and fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah that we hear in our first reading. The deaf hear, the mute speak. When we possess and have a relationship of a mercenary in our hearts, we open ourselves up still to Satan's attack and that whisper into our ear. See, God's not good. He doesn't love you. He didn't give you what you wanted or reward you for your faithfulness and your fidelity. But Jesus calls us beyond this type of relationship. He calls us to be the very children of God. 
where we obey simply because he is our father, we are his children, and we love him because of who he is. The people in today's gospel, in their hearts, they miss this. It's for this reason that we hear that Christ groans. The only time we hear that word in all of scripture, the very physical being of God groans because he wants to reach down and not just heal us in a physical way, but he wants to heal our whole person, body and soul. He wants to make us heirs of his kingdom, as St. James tells us. And if heirs, kings and queens of heaven, God wants a father-son, a father-daughter relationship with us. And so to do that, he sends his son to die for us. And today he gives his flesh in the very Eucharist so that the two of us can be reconciled, so that we can become as his children. And if we so choose, then we become invincible against the tribulations of this world. We become fulfilled internally. We lack nothing. And thus it is that Christ commands them to not tell anyone. Unlike the healed demoniac, they still are missing the message of mercy. These people are still looking to see what's in it for them. Perhaps a miracle. But he wants to love each one of us as his children. And yet we in our relationship, we settle for far less and we make ourselves mercenaries or slaves or worse yet, enemies when we choose to sin. Because after all you and I have done, he still views us as his child and he always will. We must then, if we want to possess true happiness, choose to have God as father, choose to be his child, and so in doing, become an heir of the kingdom of God, because it is, it is that for which you have been created. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who, who has, has spoken, spoken through, through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We are God's children, so with faith we lift up our prayers. For the church, that God will heal our deafness so that we may hear God's invitations to service and recognize the cry of those who are suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all world leaders that they may recognize the dignity of all people regardless of status, wealth, or social position and seek to meet the basic needs of every person. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of stewardship in our community that we may all recognize the various gifts that God has given us and that we may use them to build his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all suffering from the power of nature, that God will guide and assist everyone as they recover from earthquakes, hurricanes, and wildfires. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Sarah Jurgens, Jose Hernandez, David Hernandez, and John Kukar, that they may call out in praise to our God at the eternal banquet in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear all the prayers of our hearts. Root us more deeply in our identity as your sons and daughters. And hear our prayers, we ask them all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in our offertory song, number 393, Open My Eyes, number 393. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice, open my ears, Lord, help me to hear, open my heart, Lord, help me to Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, Father.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in our First Communion song, A Place at Your Table, number 347, number 347. here to dine the saint and the sinner your friends now reconciled in this banquet divine the promise of life without end the promise of life without end here in your presence the greatest are least the good in fine rest and the hungry can feast by love we're invited here mercy prevails god in your goodness we share a place at your table a place at your table From this communion in one heart and mind, out into mission we go. No greater love shall the world ever find, and none shall we ever know, and none shall we ever know. your 
presence, the greatest, the least. The burden find rest and the hungry can feast. By love we'd be invited, here mercy prevails. God, in your goodness we share a place at your table. A place at your table. Please join us in our second communion song, You Are the Healing, number 515, number 515.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. We do have the farmer's market today. Don't forget about our stewardship drive. You should have received something at home. Uh, we ask you to prayerfully complete the stewardship form and return it uh, back to us. Uh, tomorrow's Labor Day. Hope you have a great Labor Day. We only have one mass. It's the 815 mass tomorrow. There's no 615, so just one mass at 815. A uh, special invite for all middle school girls, so sixth through eighth grades. There, there's a special group just for you. meets on Mondays. 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the youth room for a good community and conversation. Uh, so, yep, again, hope you have a very blessed Labor Day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join us in our closing song in the day of the Lord. Number 576, number 576. In the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. And on that day will justice triumph, on that day we'll all be free. Free from want, free from fear, free to live. In the day of the Lord the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord.